Hello everyone and welcome to Mule Bytes. In this video, we are going to get started with Intelligent Document Processing aka IDP. I am Akshita Savant, Senior Developer Advocate at Salesforce and today we are going to see how to harness the power of IDP to automate your document processing. So let's get started. MuleSoft's IDP is a powerful tool that helps you extract and analyze information from your document using the AI capabilities. Under the hood, it uses powerful technologies like AWS Textract to extract information from your document. And not just that, you can also further integrate with AnyPoint platform, Flow, and RPA. So today, I'll show you how to design your first document action. So let's get started. So now we are on AnyPoint platform, MuleSoft's iPaaS tool for managing your entire API lifecycle. Before getting started with IDP, we need to ensure that you have some valid access rights to access IDP. So let's go into access management. And here you can select your user and add permissions to your user. So here you can just type in document actions. You can see there are three permissions. You can select all the three permissions. Next, you can select your business group and all the permissions are added to your account. Once that is done, let's head over directly to IDP, Intelligence Document Processing under the Automation tab. So now we are going to create a first document action and this is the landing page of IDP and you can also see I also have a few document actions that have already created. So let's go ahead and create a new document action. Here you can see there are three different types of template, basically invoice, uh, purchase order and a generic template. So today we are going to create a purchase order template. You can also expect a few more templates in the future. So let's go ahead and add a name to the document action. Here I'll be adding standard purchase order and also enter a description for this document. Further, I'll go ahead and click create. Once this is done, we are on the landing page of a document action and the first thing I'll do is create a select a file to extract the information from the document. Here I've selected JPG format, but you could also have PDF or JPEG. Maybe you can check out mulesoft.com or mulesoft's documentation page for more information on the document size or the type of document that will be accepted. Uh, the first thing I'll do is go ahead and click run. And behind the scene, Einstein, it's doing its magic and extracting information for us. But when it comes to technology or AWS Textract, it's doing the work here. And you can see that the information is extracted in the fields tab. Here you can also see the highlighted fields that have been extracted. Uh, you can also see there are some fields that have not been found and you can mark them as optional or you can exclude them from the document action tab. Also, on clicking a particular field like tax, you can also see what is the confidence ratio, threshold value that you can set. You can also mark this field as required or optional. Further, on going into the table section, you can go ahead and if you have any table, all the information around a particular table will be extracted and uh, set over here. And you can go into prompt section to add new prompts. Basically, you can add up to 30 prompts for your document action. Let's go ahead and add one prompt. So I have seen that the PAN number wasn't exact extracted. PAN number and also the GSTIN number wasn't extracted in the document action because the field was missing in the template. So I want the PAN number to be extracted. And I'm going to write a question as what is the PAN number? I'll mark this field as optional and the threshold confidence will be 80. I'll add this and rerun the document action. And my PAN number has been extracted for us. And it seems accurate as the confidence ratio is also 82%. So once this is done, so the next step would be adding a reviewer. So I'll go ahead and click on the add button and add myself uh, basically your reviewer. So I'm going to add here myself as a reviewer and click save. Once this is done, we will go ahead and save this document action and further publish it to any point exchange. We have now seen how to build a simple document action in IDP. In the upcoming section, we'll learn how to integrate a document action with any point platform flow and RPA.
For now, I'm listing down a few resources that might be actually helpful for you to get started with IDP. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe our channel and watch out the other videos from the Mule Bytes playlists. Thank you for watching.